Esports take on Evos PH. Here on the side of Brand Esports, they are the blue team. You have Coco going to be playing as Cho, EJ going to be playing as Grok, Rebo going to be playing as Esmeralda, Yuji as Kagura, and then you got you have Kufra going to be played and by none ends. other than uh, was it on the Kufra again? Yeah, on the red side, Dupen will be playing the Lunox Des Dexter as a Rafaela. Uh, I'm pretty sure Haji is on the. Uh, there is the killer will be playing the Bruno and Dexter will be uh, Honda will be playing the uh, Akai. Yep, and then here we go. Evo Skates already invading Brandy Sports' jungle, but Brandy Sports already doing the same as well. So they're both going to exchange like important objectives, but you see like Evo Skates are trying to counter it, but it will not happen. Haji is actually playing the Bruno this game, and Killer oh. will be handling the Terizda here for Evo's Esports PH. Now Coco is cutting the creep wave on the top lane since he can't lane really lane against the uh, Bruno, and Lunox has already switched to the top lane to help out clear the wave here for Haji. Yep, you know, did. so this this lineup that they're doing, it's kind of like the reverse of what Execration did. That Doofin, uh, sorry, that Zapdu went to the sort of uh, marksman role, and it's actually um, now on the other side, Pakbet on the mage role. Yep. Now it seems to be the opposite, where Doofin is now still focusing on the mage. And Haji, who has been mage recently, is now doing marksman on Bruno. I'm not sure how I feel about this, to be honest. Yeah, me too, because if you think about consistency, EVOS has shown for the past few weeks, week five and week six, that they can pull off games against the top teams if they stick with Haji being the main mage and Dufin being either the marksman or the secondary mage. Yep, indeed. And now the fact that EVOS, their win condition, also relies on the fact that they need to time their abilities well. Because at some points when they go for team fights, yeah. there are cases when they pop their ultimates too early, but then the follow-up does not exist. Yep. And it kind of creates like a desynchronization on the side of like Evo's PH in this matchup. Yep, look at Haji being able to freely farm in the top lane against the show, and this is the problem that Brent Esports needs to address. But the thing is, Coco, he is just waiting for his level 4 here. He actually is yeah. level 4 right now. The show is the main carry here for Brent Esports, and that's the thing. You're running a double mage setup, and with a show, which is the biggest problem for Evo's Esports, Peach is getting a lot on his lane. Yeah, look, this is the thing. Cho is the person they, they want to put that farm on. But the thing is, he's just absolutely soloing top, getting all the farm he needs. He doesn't even know need to rotate. But yeah. we'll see how this plays out as we go into that turtle buff. But look at that. Ooh. Should be the first kill. Killer does actually go down by the penalty zone. Might save his life. No, it's not going to happen, though. But here he comes. Hurricane Dash to save some more. But he's dropping down low. And that's going to be another kill. It's a one for one. Exchange right here. So now into the picture. Coco gets a double knock up right there. We have the dragon. is beautiful. Also, do, but that's going to be a kill to the Lurox. This is what we meant. That that show is just going to keep doing that all game long. Yep, and yep. you have to commend Rebo on that specific team fight. Once he saw that Killer will be able to use the penalty zone, he jumped out with a storm and he knows that he can't be shut down in a specific team fight. And now Brandy Sports, they have the turtle. Yep, indeed. Now, what's worrisome here is that. Evo's Esports, they got they got Bruno, they got Haji already soloing on the top lane. Yeah. That's going to create a lot of space on the side of Evo's PH, but obviously if you're Brent, you need to get that early objectives, get the turtles, because you need that momentum in this matchup here. Well, momentum is the name of the game as Crab Coin has been taken up by Grok there. That is EJ, and the Crab Coin in the bottom lane will be responded to there by Doofin. Yep, indeed. No. Not a very big score deficit, actually. It's two to one, and I, I'm pretty, I'm pretty surprised here that uh, honestly, Evos uh, are still holding on by this much. But the thing is, Coco, he's not roaming free and doing whatever he wants just yet because Red Esports they play a lot slower than they used to. I think. Yeah. Yep. And uh, so far, yeah, you want Coco to explode. I mean, he's got that high and dry emblem, and he's actually like it. poaching on the top lane. And that could actually be very, very beneficial for Brandy Sports. Like, if Haji just comes out of nowhere, and if, for example, Coco has the opportunity to land, then that's gonna be like the space maker for Brandy yeah. Sports to snowball really well. Correct me the if late I'm game. correct me if I'm wrong, uh, but Kagura was the last pick, right? Yeah. You yeah, know, you Kagura. know what happened there in that draft? They re oh, well, all that thought. Coco, Hurricane Dance, Wave the Dragon, he'll be fine. Whatever. And, uh, <laughs> oh, the bottom lane though, there's actually gonna be a kill, and that's uh, one for nothing. But. Going back to my point, you know what happened in that drafting phase? Yuji was, oh my god, I can't even talk a little bit, but that comes the Tyrant's Wrath. Bouncing ball, they're gonna continue that. Should be a knockup onto Hayes though, he will survive. Or will he as he's diving into the tower? That's oh, gonna be a Bruno. kill. 
brutal kill right there for Haji. Yep, indeed. You do not want to give Cristiano Brunaldo oh. any space needed. Uh -oh. But he's going to get caught punish. there. Here comes Rebo. Wild charge by EJ. Misses though. No Haji, way. can he go for it? Oh, but he gets slaughtered there by EJ. So here's the thing. This is, again, this is what happens, right? UG last pick Kagura because they realized, wait, no one's going to stop Coco. Let's let's change him from um, from a support role to uh, you know to a hard killer to a core, and that's exactly what happened because they realized, wait, Coco, uh, token not be stopped literally. So there we go. Yep, indeed. And so far, look at this. Brand Esports are going to put on the pressure here in the bot lane. Doofin trying to slow things down. I mean, Brender able to defend this tier one tower at bot. It's looking pretty good. Like, Brender able to defend their mid and bottom towers uh, efficiently. Yeah. But of course, the top lane is going to be oh, Honda pressured. In. And oh. Hurricane Dance popped here, there. Because it's looking really bad here on the Cho. But Flicker he out. manages to run away. The flicker out of nowhere just to keep things alive for Brand Esports. Yeah, Evos know what they need to do. They are currently targeting Coco a lot. Yeah. Uh, so. At least they know that they're screwed because Coco's there. So they are trying to address that problem. Yeah, they know that the biggest problem that they have right now is facing off against the Cho. So they're immediately addressing the early aggression from Brand Esports. Yeah. Just put a couple of heroes on the top lane just to make sure that Coco will not be able to rotate. Yeah, but here's the thing. I'm not so sure if that's the best idea because Coco's going to steamroll over them regardless because it's not yeah. about the damage that Coco brings. It's about the utility that he has in his kit with yeah. the knockups in the way of the dragons. That's going to be the problem. So if I were in Eos's shoes right now, I'd focus on shutting down Rebo and UG instead. Yeah. This is big though. Dufin has already bought the uh, Lightning Truncheon here for the Luna. So the damage output that Eos Esports PH can dish out is going to be so high. Yeah, yeah but at the same time, I'm not so sure because he's now still 0-1. Yeah. I don't feel like Dufin has ever started a game <laughs> with a good KDA in a long, long, long time. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Wild charge just popped out here. Honda's going to get caught by the Umbrella. He's going to 1,000 pounds away, but here comes Dufin. Going for that cosmic vision, but instead will not hit any targets. Rennie's Sports are going to get pressured here. These soccer balls here by Haji just too, dishing out a lot of damage. Yeah, Haji's starting to hurt, and that's, uh, that's a point of concern soon. right there. But then again, I'm not so sure how well... Oh! oh hey! All the Star Moon is good as well. Going to be following it up right there. Hurricane Dance is good, but there comes Honda. Trying to get those kills in, but the penalty zone is even better. Now it's going to be a first kill. EJ goes down. The rest of EVOS PH trying to get that control in. And that's a really good counter engage from EVOS PH. Oh my god, Haji. The positioning off the guy. He knows that he can't be with his teammates. Because once the, there is, once the Esmeralda and the Cooper jumps in, he is, the, he is the damage dealer for EVOS Esports PH. Now, Brand Esports jumped in knowing that they had the initiation, but they didn't catch Haji, and Rebo melted to the balls of Haji. Yep, indeed, and that's really impressive because if you're EVOS PH, chances are, if you get caught by that, you're gonna be you're gonna be caught on a wild surprise that you will not expect and you might not recover, but they're able to recover efficiently, even though the surprise factor was in favor of Brent Esports. Yeah, just look at the positioning of Haji. He knows that he can be the guy that Brent Esports initiates on. Yeah, they definitely do not want that target. The thing is, despite the fact, as you said, despite the fact that the elements of surprise was there, the counter engage is so good from Evo Speech. You don't want to dive full on when there's a Terizla who can penalty zone you and yep. sort of just knock you up. And the disruption is just so good from the side of Evo Speech. Because even though you do get a good engage, there's Honda. He's got Hurricane Dance. There's Killer. He's obviously got penalty zone. And Rafaela will keep them sustained throughout all of it. Yep, and I like I like how Evo's Esports PH is, has been playing this game for quite some time. They're just delaying the uh, you know the power spike of the Cho. Just make sure that you you're able to get a lot of farm on the map. If you're gonna look at the if you're gonna look at the network right now, it's leading towards Evo's Esports PH. But now the dance from Honda is here to jump in from the Esmeralda on the back lines. They're gonna be able to delete Haji on that Bruno. That is what we've been talking about. If you get the jump on the Bruno, it's basically game over for EVOS PH. Yep, yeah, here comes the counter engagement, popped out though, Dupin gonna jump in, order of brilliance popped out. Will EJ get slaughtered down? Killer, however, with the backup option, falling! Oh, 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 oh my Rebo god! Is unstoppable though, and it's looking a disaster here for EVOS PH. Killer Rebo. is gonna get slaughtered in return, and Rebo and Yuji, my goodness. No, I'm sorry, two. it's not just Rebo, it's Rebo oh, and Yuji. Oh, oh, oh. Look at where top lane is. Yep, he look. doesn't even care! He's it's Ziggy TD! It's Ziggy TD! No, no, no. That's Coco. <laughs> look, dude, even if... Catch me if you can. Like, 
<laughs> There's no way they can deal with this Coco. Where's the catch? There's no catch. So he's just going to do that all game long. Yes. He's going to get away with it. They have a catch. It's the dance from the Akai. But are you willing to commit the dance for that's a for choke kill exactly. when you have an Esmeralda and the Kagura? And mind you, a Cooper problem. Oh, oh my god. That's a good initiation right there. Dexter could go down. No, the bouncing ball will not be enough to slow him down, but they're going to be falling back from that. Balls are flying everywhere across the yep. map. It's like a game of volleyball up in here. Yep, indeed. And right now, Evo's PH are trying to position themselves. Right now, they realize that Coco is indeed a legit threat. He's able to destroy two towers already in the top lane. And so they, they got a lot of factors to consider. They want to, you have to make sure that Haji's still alive. You want to make sure that you're able to shut down Coco. And you want to make sure that you're able to defend each of these lanes because you want to get these objectives, though. He's sticking really close out of position. Thousand pounder away. Lord now being initiated here by Brennan. Could be a bait, but I don't think it might be. I don't think it is, actually. They're going to go for it, though. Honda is trying to zone them out, but Ooh, that's a nice knockoff onto Hayes, though. Hayes gets it, but it's going to be Killer who goes down in the back line. No penalties on available. That's going to be the problem. That's Coco. Dupin gets one kill, and that's a shutdown. But it doesn't matter because they're going to get Hayes as well. So double kill right there for Luna. And here comes another one. EJ goes down, followed up by Dexter. And it's going to be... Oh! How is he alive for so long, Coco? Yes, indeed. Right now, Rebo all by himself. Four members of Brandy Sports. See, here's the thing. Yuji died instantly in that early team fight. So that created a lot of space for Evo's esports. And as the fact that Haji was still able to survive, yeah. that was already enough to make sure that... Evo's PH, they got something. They got something that could potentially shut down Brandy Sports. And this yeah. is it. The thing is, Rebo was like the only one left, and do they have the damage against Rebo, especially in this late game? You know, honestly, that would have been worse for Brent Esports if Hayes didn't, uh, you know, didn't execute the play yeah. that he was looking for. He went for the rage on the Akai, forcing out the dance. So again, they're just, you know, they're just abusing the fact that Honda is forced to use the dance whenever he needs to, and he can't utilize the dance for the team fight that Eve of PH is looking. Also, it was like wrong target, dude. You need to start. You need to start this fight by picking off Haji because honestly, he, at this point, he's getting really fed. He yeah. is six and two, um, and it is. Not a pretty sight to see when you have a Bruno that's sitting. <laughs> And two. True, true. And remember, even if the Esmeralda is so tanky, yeah. the Bruno deals a lot of damage. Remember, that guy needed to be reworked. The values needed to be reduced because it's so damn high. Yeah, they needed to nerf him now. But here okay. we go. That's Hayes. He's getting caught off. That's a mega kill for Haji. Look at that damage. And that's going to be the Shobi and Nobi. I'm not going to be able to. Not gonna get a kill, Ooh, but it's gonna be wow. That. The burst right there from Revo. So much damage. Damage and it's gonna be Lunox trying to get that chase in. Does have so much, but oh it's Haji to find another one. He's unstoppable currently, and I don't think there's anybody who finds oh, the ball. The ball, the ball. Yuji. Yuji was able to go in, but he falls back. The umbrella zoning them out so perfectly well. But look at Avos. That's a penalty zone. It's amazing right there. One more strike, okay. one more swing, and no, he's gonna get knocked up. Killer, can he find it? No, Remo can get away. Oh, from look this at the one. balls. Oh, oh. Look at that, Rebo already going for the star. Okay, he's going for the shield right now. Coco going 1v1, but Haji and Rebo, Haji and Rebo, they're Coco? taking. Look at that, though. Han is going to get falling star. But, oh, oh. but Haji oh, he dodges, dodges it. He dodges it, but Rebo gets killed as well. This is looking pretty really bad for Brenny Sports. Coco trying to salvage something, but this is actually looking pretty evenly thought for Evos and Brenny Sports. My wow. Goodness. Highlights for highlights, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, wait, gentlemen. wait, we're not done just yet. Coco or Haji? Coco! Oh! <laughs> It's Haji! Haji who wins it though! Oh my god, oh. Evos and Bren! What is this? Toe to toe, one versus one! Two guys 
manhandling every single player on each team, but it's Haji that is superior at the end of the day. It, it was EWAS PH's victory. Oh yeah, well, I mean, that was indeed very impressive. As long as you keep Haji alive, but then Rebo lost in that team fight. That's going to be so crucial there on the side of Evo's PH. Ten right kills. now, they're going to get this Lord without a doubt. 10 kills on the Brutal. You were pointing it out, Elu. This guy will be able to delete any single here on the side of Brent Esports. If you show yourself Grok, you're tanky, yes, but not in front of Are a Bruno. Are chasing the Grok though? That's, I'm not sure if that's a good idea. Let's look at it. EJ is going to mail to the Bruno and Hayes is the next target here for EVO PH. They need to run away. They're looking for the jump from the Esmeralda, but they're not going to be allowed to do that. Oh my god, EVO PH just steamrolling over Brand Esports right now. Yep, they need it so far. They're going to get this uh, Lord, and that's not going to do any impact on the side of Brand Esports. They desperately need it. Coco trying to split push in the bottom lane, but to no avail as EVO get the Lord. They yep. even get. They even get that Divine Blade, which is so crucial here on the side of EVO's PH. And look at Coco, he is desperately trying to dissuade EVO's PH from taking the Lord, was split pushing on the bottom lane. But then again, EVO's, they don't really care. They just need to put a lot of the pressure on Brent Esports, maximize the use of the Bruno, and just make sure that Brent Esports cannot make a play. They have to make sure that Brent Esports cannot make the play. They got this Lord already. They can push in the top lane with these. I mean, they, they have a lot of room to move forward because Haji, he looks untouchable in this matchup. And as long as he remains untouchable, then Evo PH can just completely melt towers instantly. Yep, right now, Brand Esports, they're, they're forced inside their own base and Evo PH will come knock, knocking on front door as the Lord arrives on the top lane. And it's not, but here's the thing, it's not like it's a big lead, to be honest. It's like a 2,000 gold lead, a little bit of towers, but with that Lord barreling down the top lane. Oh my god, it hurts. In. They cancel the hurricane dance though. Will it matter? Because they're still trying to hold on to this base with everything that they've got. Yep, indeed, here they go down. They're gonna get to the tier three tower. DJ going for the wild charge to provide the distraction tactics, but so far, it might not work. Jump oh, in! Oh, oh. Brad Esports, can they go for the counter play? But Haji's still alive! Cristiano Ronaldo's going to the hat trick, and he's gonna kill for more. There you go. With the, with the joke? They're losing a lot. EJ, he's already getting surrounded here by... Oh, my God. Center. Oh, look at this. Brad Esports, they're gonna melt in the... Oh, this is not how you want to end it. Brad, Brad, Coco. Oh, my God. After the amazing play that Hayes pulled out. Where was the Cho? Where was the damage? Esmeralda melted to Bruno. It was not the play that Bren was looking for. That is one of the biggest misplays.